G and Cote St. Luke. Now, 88% of the deaths in Quebec have been seniors. We know they're the most vulnerable group if they're infected. So in seniors' homes, there has been isolation that has been very strict. Families can't visit their loved ones. Many residents have to stay in their rooms. The province is injecting $133 million in emergency money to help seniors' homes cope. We're going to look at that in a moment. But first, Suda Krishnan has more on what the families are going through. They were side by side for 62 years. That's how Peter Whelan remembers his parents. There was kind of an ironic uh, energy between the two of them. Ken and Connie Curtis Whelan lived together at this private care home in Dorval, but that changed weeks ago when his father's condition deteriorated. The 85-year-old was moved to a public facility. It was heartbreaking. My mother didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to him. You're frustrated by the fact that you know that they could use so much care and you, you can't help them. That frustration mounted when he was told three people at his 87-year-old mother's residence tested positive. The home took the necessary protocols, but that led to staffing shortages. Whelan's mother waited and waited for a diaper change. She was told at one point that they could only provide limited services. She felt she had to choose between having her diapers changed or having her, uh, her colostomy bag changed. Whelan's family reached out to the home many times. In an email, officials said they were sorry, suggesting they were overwhelmed. The home has been working with the local health authority to restore staffing levels. They keep us updated with the numbers. At the facility where her 79-year-old mother lives, Anne Meldrum was concerned when a resident who tested positive was well enough to return home. The idea that they've sent someone back in knowing that he was contagious... The home says the patient was isolated and there's an urgent need to free up critical care hospital beds. The health minister says the money and the tools will help. The best way possible is to isolate those people from the others in the residence and we're helping them with additional measures. Meanwhile, Whelan says his mother is her usual self. She said, I'm not even worried for me, you know, this place is full of old people. He says he welcomes any help in a system as strained as it is. So the Christian CBC News, Montreal.